What's cracking YouTube? Back in the garage with another video today. And today, I swear, man, you can't win for losing with this old car. I finally was trying to take the car out to the, go get some parts, man, so I can finish wiring up this toggle switch for these lights, but let's show y'all, man. Needless to say, man, went to take it, got the car, actually we made it to AutoZone with the car, and the shift cable broke in AutoZone's parking lot, and unfortunately, they ain't got another one, so I had to have my son help me out with it. You know, he had to stand on the brake while I got in there and threw it in reverse and then stay on it while I throw it in drive so we can get it back home. But like I said, it's the little stuff with these cars, so we busted the console down. The crazy part is tomorrow, man, I'm supposed to be dropping the video going to get it frame notched. So hopefully I can still get that done. The cable's supposed to be in at like 9 a.m., so I'm gonna have to go grab that get it going but we just decided to go ahead and move on to the next phase of the car while we waiting and that's uh going ahead and get everything installed in the trunk get the little subs put in the little eights and a little 800 watt amp i ain't going too big nothing too crazy because honestly i don't want nothing too big or too crazy in this car because it is what it is man i just want this to be a nice comfortable cruiser with some nice little sound in it nothing too overpowering We're gonna definitely start getting this hooked up right quick. We got the wire kit on the floor. I was gonna go zero gauge wire, but it ain't no need to do all that. This, this kit will go anyway. I ain't planning on you know knocking the trunk down, anything crazy. So we're just gonna use the kit they gave us and see if we can get this project finished tonight. So right now I'm gonna unbox everything and then uh, we're gonna get started on it. I'm gonna cut y'all back on in a minute. We got the power wire ran, fuse in there. We actually ran it into the car. Teaching my son about this car audio stuff. So we actually ran it through where I pulled out the ECM and the harness head, which is a perfect hole. Just pulled that grommet out and went through. We got our RCA jacks in and our remote wire. Which like I said, we ran the remote wire off remote wire here coming out of radio which is normally blue your remote wire is gonna always be blue so we pulled it out got it hooked up RCA jacks they come off the radio got them all left and right off my little radio and then pretty much hold this we're essentially ready to snap it back together I also fixed my retained accessory power I was in the clock wire but they use one of these little spade clips and I tried to use it and it actually wasn't getting into the wire so I removed the wire and went straight to it so now we hold an accessory power so now let's put this back up put the radio face back on everything should come back in back. pull all these out because we're gonna have to run all these to the trunk just like that power wire we're gonna have to get it to the trunk like I was saying you gotta be really easy with these but you see how brittle corners are on all this like extremely old so we gotta kind of take it easy with it so we don't damage nothing and we can actually get the radio back in this hole so go get that back right so I don't even know what I done, I done mixed up what I did with the radio bolt it's over here somewhere we'll be alright Cadillac's 45 years old. Unless you know something about today's engineering. The car is 45 years old and runs and drives and looks better than 90% of the shit on the road today. And I said it because that's exactly what it is. It's shit. All them cars they put out today is junk. You look at them, they all in a scrapyard that don't exist six or seven years from now. And people brag about spending 70,000, 80,000 on these cars that break down in two years, two, three years. This 
car I can see is 45 and it's, this car is 38 and that Cadillac is 45 and they both still exist. And they still, and that Cadillac I guarantee I put on the endur endurance test against any full size SUV today and I guarantee it I'll work, I'll work all of them. That's what I'm saying son. With these old car, it ain't just about it being an old car. The thing of it is man, it's, it's, you want something that's gonna last. We're staying the test of time. We live in a society today where everybody is quick to, they want to switch it up every five minutes because of, it's the new fad or the new trend. And I tell you all the time, being yourself will always be cool, no matter what it is. People are gonna try to tell you to change who you are, do this, do that. But all you can do is continue to be yourself. The more you do that, the better off you're going to be, so I promise you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. People going to want you to switch up. Good night. Oh, yeah, I said, I knew I stuck that in the wrong spot. He working right now. I knew I stuck that in the wrong spot. He going to have to... Yeah, I stuck him in the wrong spot. I was like, why is it not going right? But it's in there now, so. And then we'll just use the long, it's the long screw over it that holds it in there, so. Can't put a screw right there, cause it's pretty brittle right there in that corner. I think I remember I tried to use some JB Wells on it, so we might stick a screw in there. So brittle at the point that somebody break it. But back to what I was saying, son. Like the most important thing you can do is always be yourself. No matter what people think, some people may think the decisions you make ain't cool, but if you think it's cool, it's your life to live. Like me, 33 years old. I don't love those school cars my entire life. That's a passion that'll never change. And I don't ever want to change because if it did, then that mean I'd be conforming to society and not being who I truly am. And that ain't cool. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So always be Elijah. The more you do that, the better off your life will be. I had to learn that. So, so now we pretty much got the radio back in. I'm missing that. Where's that seven? I remember I had a seven in the corner. Cause I didn't have one that fit when I put it in there. Right there. That unlucky seven. Lucky number seven as they say in the casino world. But I know it don't match, but oh well. We'll get some new bolts that all match one of these days. That's another thing about old school. It ain't gotta be perfect. And by working the car business, son. But you know what they do 95% of the time? Mm. Complain. So now we back with our radio. That section is good. Let's see the camera. So now, we got the radio and everything in. Now we gotta do is we gotta get, I know it looks like a mess of spaghetti over here, but we got the power wire, which I don't understand why all these wires are blue, but RCAs and our screw gun now. And then we got the remote wire. So I'm gonna go up around the top of this carpet and down and underneath it. We wanna get underneath all the carpet. We wanna run the wire completely under the carpet and then we're gonna pull the back seat up, run it through the back seat into the trunk, all the wires, okay? But I ain't gonna bore y'all on camera with that, man, showing y'all how to run these under here because every car is different. This is just on my G-Body, how I'm gonna do it. So uh, we're supposed to get all this routed into the trunk and then we're gonna cut y'all back on once we get it all set up in the trunk. Uh, so we back in the trunk. Got a little ground in right there for now, just temporary. We're gonna clean all this up before we get it all routed properly. And uh, so we got our power, our remote, and our RCA is coming out this side. So we're gonna go to the front. Already hooked up 
I already hooked up the uh, power wire, which I need to replace that power wire, I still have it. Got it hooked in right there. Now we're going to come in the car, switch the key on and see if we're actually getting a little power to the back. It should be. Let's see what happens here and then we'll see if the amp turns on. Actually, that's the right key. There it goes. I'm like, why is my chime not working? So, all in there. I can't really tell. It's so bright with this light. Turn it off. Huh. So the amp keeps turning. So, I think we still ain't got that power wire tight enough. Still ain't got our power wire tight enough because our amp isn't powering up. So what we're gonna have to do now is go back to the front and adjust this battery cable so we can actually get some continuity and uh, power this amp up because it ain't powering up. So once again, man, we're gonna cut y'all back on in just a minute. So after a little finagling, I've actually got to wait to turn the radio on. See? Yeah, see that's the problem is we ain't getting that. Still struggling there. Come on. Okay. So now the amp's on. What the problem is I'm noticing is my retained accessory power. I'm gonna have to get that figured out. My retained accessory power is not working right. So we're gonna close the trunk down and see we got it sounding right grab my phone hard trying to do all this with two hands hopefully the battery got enough juice because we've been uh can't get y'all much music because i ain't trying to get that old copyright you know what i mean so Subs kick on. What's that remote? Is that remote over there by your feet? So we finally got it finished up, everything hooked up, running right. My son's first experience. We're trying to hook up a sub system, so I know I had to. Uh, we gotta take the radio back out. Still trying to struggle with this retained accessory power. It ain't. That's what's killing me, man. So once we get that figured out, I'm gonna get a schematic and look at it and see which wire is which. It's telling me that orange wire is the clock, but it ain't working. So, uh, yeah, man, we finna let this battery charge up and see what kind of sound we get out of it. And, uh, we're gonna see y'all in the next video, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all want more videos like this? And uh, we're gonna see y'all in the next one, man.